Good morning, everybody. It's chilly today. Well, that says it's 48 degrees out there. That's not very warm, is it? <laughs> so, ah, boy, I didn't like that at all waking up. So today's the day, maybe, I don't really know. Um, I'm a little uh, disappointed with my uh, dispatcher right now, but she's got stuff to figure out and I understand that that's not easy what she's trying to do but this is kind of her fault it's now Wednesday morning and I'm 140 miles from uh, uh, Fort Collins Colorado is where I'm delivering at and uh, the reason I'm doing that is because she thought I was going home uh, today or what is today I, yeah, the 31st, um, because she was looking at the wrong month on the calendar when I said I want to be home on the 2nd, which is Friday, and I believe Tuesday of May was the 2nd. I wanted to be home on June 2nd, um, <laughs> so uh, she's got me here days early, and I sent her a message yesterday, said, hey, I, I don't have a ton of hours, but... Uh, Wednesday morning I'll be ready uh, for something else to make some more money this week and she sent back a message that said they are working on it and I never heard anything again and uh, I understand that mistakes happen I get it um, but the only reason I'm this close to home uh, two days early is um, because she was looking at the wrong month the entire time. Now, I'm sure there's some confusion about that. Uh, some people are probably like, why the hell wouldn't you just go home two days early? Well, because I'm out here to make money. And uh, it doesn't do a whole lot of good to go to my house during the week because everyone's busy. I need to go during the weekend when nobody's got anything to do. Or I just sit around the house by myself anyways. <laughs> so what's the point? What's the point? So I don't know what her plan is. Um, but they've got a few options. Maybe run me back down to Dallas. Something I can drop in a drop yard there. And then maybe something is waiting in that drop yard that I can just bring back to uh, Denver and drop there. But those hours are going to be real close. They could run me around Denver doing local stuff for the next two days. That sounds miserable. But if it's what we gotta do, I guess it's what we gotta do. And the only other option I can think of, I mean, they don't have to run me to Dallas. Let's just replace that with, send me anywhere where I can get back uh, by Friday evening. Uh, the only other thing I th would think they could do is uh, send me home uh, two days early. And at that point, I must insist that they uh, pay me, at least layover pay for that. It's not my job to plan loads and dispatch. <laughs> it sure isn't. Uh, so I've been doing my job, so I will have to insist that I get paid for that time. Because um, I am staying through the weekend. I mean, what's, what's the point of all of this, right? You spend... Uh, it, it won't be a full six weeks since I've been home because I've managed to stop by a couple nights over that uh, six week period, but uh, always keeping up with the loads and everything. So you spend six weeks on the load, I mean on the road, you ask one simple thing, get me home on the weekend. I think that it's okay for them to figure that out uh, when you've uh, spent all that time on the road. I think they owe you one. <laughs> so. Uh, we'll see what they come up with. Uh, I, of course, get to do the normal over-the-road trucker thing where I sit here and think about it. Yeah, how are they going to work this out? Well, they go home, enjoy a nice night at home, don't have to think about work. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> so. Anyways, that's what we're up against today, guys. A couple hours over to uh, Fort Collins. <coughs> Unless Denver is real busy, which it might be. It might be. But either way, we're three hours tops uh, from uh, getting that done. And uh, hey, we'll go from there. The heat's working now, so that's good. I can get this jacket off. And that's all I got for you guys for now. Um, we'll get over there. And uh, hopefully, 
they come up with something. So, talk to you guys soon. I am not amused. <laughs> not even a little bit. There's no empty trailer here. Yeah. Um, so, I sent a message to a Dispatch and uh, um, asked for an empty trailer. They must know of one somewhere. And uh, she said, just wait there. Just sit there and I'll figure out what our next move is. <sighs> what was the point? Like, what was the point of uh, sending a message yesterday to say, hey, let's work on my next load so I can uh, get home Friday? What was the point of communicating? <laughs> what are we doing? So I'm just sitting here drinking peach tea and thinking about my life. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they don't know. They don't know what we're doing next. And... Um, that's really frustrating. So I don't know how I feel about it. There's not an empty trailer here. I'm only gonna give them a little bit of time before I'm gonna head down to uh, the Loves and at least get myself in a shower while they figure it out. So maybe a half hour and uh, then I'm pulling out of here. And uh, if I need to come back just to grab an empty, then I guess I'll just do that. But uh, I'm certainly not going to sit around here all day. Uh, when they knew yesterday uh, that I would be here and I would be uh, ready for my next load. And that is kind of the point of uh, why I'm interested in getting back into business for myself in some fashion or another uh, because I do not like depending on other people to do their jobs for me to do mine. Now that does happen in uh, you know owning a truck also uh, but there are ways to dispatch yourself and uh, pick your own loads and choose your own fate and things like that. I don't know how this works with the uh, with the vans I've been talking about. Maybe you guys can help me out. Because the reason, what I've gathered so far, the reason you want to go with the uh, 2500 uh, Sprinter van is because it's not over the 10,000 uh, pounds GVWR, whatever, the weight rating, right? That means you don't have to use um, e-logs. I know that much. Now, does it need DOT numbers? I, that far, I haven't gotten into my research yet. Do you need an MC number on that? Um... Or do you just buy a van and then do you get access to the load boards and then you just go do it? That part I'm not sure about. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just call a broker, right? Is that going too far right now? Am I jumping the gun on that one? But maybe I should just call a broker and say, hey, what, what do you ask? Like, what information do you ask for for an expedited van, you know? How do you verify that I'm a good person to give that freight to? Because normally it's done by MC numbers and uh, freight guard and things like that, right? When you're running a truck. There must be some kind of way. I'm not really sure. But uh, all I can really say for today is I'm not the least bit amused. Not even a little bit. <laughs> that they don't know uh, what the uh, next move is. Huh, that's interesting. Um, so I don't know either. Um, if they want to send me home, well, I think I mentioned it earlier in the video, they can do that, but that's um, not when I wanted to go home. They're going to have to pay me, at least layover for that. Um, I guess that's it. I don't really have much on my mind right now, except this is kind of frustrating. Um, I am sitting right by my house, very close, but it's just not time to go home yet. I need to make a little more money this week. But I think there's five paychecks this month, so it wouldn't be the worst thing ever, I guess. If, if this is when we're going to do it, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever for this to be the time to screw up, I guess. But I don't know. I won't keep you guys here. I'll see what the hell's going on. Uh, I'm going to give them like 20 more minutes and then I'm going to move to the truck stop and shower at least while I wait. Well, hello again. 
here we are. Oh, what a day it's been. Uh, so basically, uh, this is uh, why I want to be, and I'm so adamant about being uh, self-employed again. Hold on, I need my little vape stick and we can talk about it. Um, I'm about to just head home, I think. I was giving her a little bit of time to figure it out. So, uh, my company's really good about uh, paying for extra stuff. So that's obviously a good thing. Um, but they are severely lacking right now in any kind of communication. So I couldn't find a trailer earlier uh, this morning. Uh, all the trailers we had at that location were uh, loaded. So I needed an empty one. And uh, um, then I went to get fuel and my fuel card didn't work. But that happens sometimes, that's not a big deal. I don't know how that side of the business works, but every once in a while you have a fuel card that don't, won't work. You shoot a message and they say, okay, your fuel card's working now. And that's happened in every company I worked in. Uh, no cause for concern, it's just something they have to update on their end every once in a while with the fuel cards. Um, but that was no big deal, went and got me a shower, that was nice, had a big old Taco John's burrito. You get... Taco John's isn't very big. You guys ever had Taco John's? It's pretty good. The burritos and the tacos aren't that good. But they give you these uh, this bucket of potatoes. They're called potato olays. And it's just potato and salt, basically. And they're delicious. Don't get me wrong. They're delicious. So, anyways, after that, uh, they gave me one of our uh, drop locations in Denver. They said, hey, go down there and let me know what trailers are empty. Uh, so, obviously, they're paying me the mileage to come down here, which wasn't much. You know, $15, $20 somewhere in that range but then they pay you like you know depending how many trailers 25 bucks to do a yard check 50 bucks to do a yard check just somewhere in that range and I sent back a message hey there's only two trailers down here here's the numbers though that's what's empty and uh they never said anything and I fell asleep <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie I fell asleep so I um took about a two-hour nap I was really tired I guess and I got up and I sent a message, said, hey, um, I haven't heard anything. Do you guys plan to keep me busy till Friday? Or uh, what do you want to do? And my dispatcher called me. She's like, oh, I thought you went home. You thought I went home? There was no communication on that, that I was going home. What gave you the impression that I went home? That's a little bit strange. Why would you think that? So she's like, well, why don't you just head home and then you can head out uh, Sunday? I'm like, well, maybe, but my family is busy during the week. But I, I mean, I guess I understand not everything's perfect in this business. Uh, but I, the reason I'm mad about it this time is because it was her own goddamn fault. As I discussed earlier in the video, when I said the second she was looking at the wrong damn month, which caused her to try to get me home on the wrong damn day. And okay, I get it. Maybe I'm being too much of a dick right now because people in jobs make mistakes. And now that I'm reflecting on it a little bit, if uh, they were that harsh towards me in the event that I made a mistake, I wouldn't want to work here anymore. So now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I need to just chill out. Maybe I'll just send that message and say, yeah, you know what, I'll just head home and uh, that that's fine. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. So maybe I am taking this harder than I should be. Now that I'm saying it out loud, <laughs> now that I'm saying it out loud, maybe I'll just head home. I'm here. We get five paychecks this month so I can recover from not making as much money this week as I was hoping to make. And maybe I'll just leave it at that. But... Um, It's nice to reflect every once in a while, isn't it? And be like, you know what, maybe maybe I can just excuse a mistake here and there. Yeah, you know what, I can do that. I think I can. <laughs> I think I can actually do that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do when I finish up this video. I'm just going to say, you know what, I, um, I'll, I'll just head home. Uh, call me if you got a load. Like, Because she was saying head out again Sunday. Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, call me when you have a load then or something like that. And I think that's what we'll do. But this is the, the kind of stuff that comes up um, that makes me uh, so fascinated with the idea of uh, working for myself. I don't have to check in with working, 
yeah, for myself. That's what I meant to say. I don't have to check in with anyone. When can I go home? When can I stop? When, when can I do this and that? Um, and that's why a huge part of why I get so fa fascinated with uh, being independent. It really is. Um, and I do have the uh, work ethic because that's a big thing that happens um, in trucking when uh, guys decide, especially uh, like lease operator guys, they decide they, they're they gonna be a lease operator and then they're like, this means I can go home every weekend because I'm the boss now, right? And that's, that's how a lot of lease purchase operators fail. I know that there's um, a lot of uh, YouTube uh, channels that look down on lease purchase. I don't necessarily look down on it. The last one was just really a dumb decision on my part, which shouldn't have been because I thought the spot market was coming back. Silly me. That's my fault though. Um, but that's where you see a lot of people fail, but nobody wants to admit it, you know, like, well, yeah, I mean, of course I wasn't willing to get out there and work for months at a time because when you go into business for yourself, you actually need to work harder in most cases than when you work for someone else because now you've got bills to pay, right? Um, and I understand that. I understand that that's, that's part of the gig and I really don't mind it. But then when I get my mind set on something, okay, I'm gonna head home, this is what I'm gonna do, or I'm gonna take off time here, take off time there, then I'm going to make sure that happens, you know? And that's where I guess that I'm, I'm really frustrated today. But um, yeah, I guess looking back on uh, how mad I was just a few minutes ago, um, I should just forgive this mistake. I should. Um, and, and realize that it happens and we are all human. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I'm going to send a message and tell her I'm going to go home. And uh, yeah, we should be back on the road uh, Sunday. And um, I think that works out. I think that works out. Um, my wife was looking forward to be, being home all weekend, but uh, I'll still be there Friday and Saturday. So I guess that's probably not the worst thing ever. Um, and uh, most likely a load leaving out of Colorado on Sunday is going to be something that's preloaded. So I probably won't have a crazy early appointment time or anything like that. And uh, it will just be okay. <coughs> but um, I am calmed down now. <laughs> I was coming into this video, this last part of it, a uh, little bit angry and uh, just going to vent frustrations and things like that, I guess. But um, sometimes just talking things out is uh, really a helpful thing. And I want to know that like when I make a mistake, because I inevitably will, I'll miss an appointment or uh, something. I want them to uh, treat me like I'm human also. To me, that matters, being treated like a person out here. So, um, I'm over it. And I'm uh, maybe 40 miles from home. <laughs> I'm just going to go do that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Thank you, guys. Thank you for helping me. I look like shit, don't I? <laughs> Thank you, guys, for helping me through that. Um, and uh, it's easy to hate on a dispatcher or a broker or the safety guy, or or any number of things. It really is. But, yeah, this is some much needed time off. I am in desperate need of some time off, uh, just relaxing out of the truck. Um, uh, I forgot what I was saying. I'm still full of Taco John's. Mm delicious taco john so i'm gonna get this truck fired back up we're gonna hit the damn road and um get over to the house i'll have the wife come get me we can't wait much longer because these truck stops start to fill up around here about uh well i got a little time i got about an hour before they really start to fill up have the wife come get me uh get everything out of this truck that needs to go home and we're just gonna enjoy some time off is what we're gonna do i'm gonna take my laptop home i gotta take my t-mobile internet uh, to T-Mobile. I broke it. 
I broke it. It fell off the, the shelf that the phone's on right now. I forgot that it was up there and it busted the cap power cable out of it and the port where it plugs in. So if I'm going to do live streams from the road anymore, I need to go get that fixed. But uh, <coughs> we'll probably <coughs> try to do a live stream or two from the house, depending how long I'm there. Um, so I can hang out with you guys like I do sometimes. Just got my shoes on though. And we are ready to hit the road. We are ready to forgive our dispatcher, forget and move on with our lives. So that'll be that. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>